<laughs> hey guys and welcome back on my youtube channel it's your boy troll so in this video uh, basically i prepared you a beginner gear guide what's a beginner gear guide basically we're gonna only focus on the 12 basic sets we are not going to discuss about the forge sets in this video because it will take you weeks even months before you're even able to first of all have a six star gear and before you even have a decent six star gear i don't know like epic legendary whatever so we only gonna discuss about the dwarven ruins because again unless you're a whale unless you bought the gear you're not gonna to have the forge gear for a very very long time or at least a decent one so for now for the first weeks on the, of the game farming six star gear in the dwarven dungeons will be way more beneficial than waiting i don't know how long for the forge gear so let's start with the gear i already explained in the last video but we have resistant effect tenacity crit damage attack percentage mastery effect hit crit rate defense healing effect leech speed hp percentage so in this video i will explain you for a beginner without like super specifics which set is the best for pve for pvp for now very simple everyone gonna need speed set if your heroes are too slow in pvp you're just gonna die so every need everyone needs to be speed tuned everyone needs to be super fast unless you have heroes that will basically allow you to go first then the hero that goes first doesn't need speed gear again there are a lot of strategies about it basically you just want like i don't know maybe one hero that's super fast that will boost your whole team and then your whole team can play and then maybe don't they don't need speed gear but again if they get outspeeded they can cut you again that's a different video because I won't make a specific PvP gear video because there's no point on it. Again, if you can, obviously you're gonna build your characters to do the most damage possible. But if you are too slow, you're just gonna die. So ultimately, more or less, you're gonna need speed gear. But what do you do when it comes to PvE? So let's start with the supports. Let's say you're gonna play with, I don't know, Liz, Wim maya uh i don't know then guhana or uh or now tomorrow we're gonna get space for the seventh day we're gonna all get space i mean for those who started at the same time as me but anyway regardless of which support we are talking about and there's one general rule that will apply to all of your champions support tank defense attack daughters whatever you always gonna start with the speed set if you are too slow if the monsters outspeed you in either dungeons or tower of mark whatever regardless if you are slower than the monsters you need speed set doesn't matter which hero you have to be faster than the monsters or if you have someone who boost your heroes then that's fine but remember in dungeons you have three waves so you have to be faster than the waves in th three times so ultimately it's still better than they are just faster rather than hoping that your support will boost them boost them in time and you they'll basically increase their their turn matter so i would say the speed set is the best in the game uh, at the very beginning for sure and generally speaking like i already explained in my dwarf and ruin dungeon guide if you're blocked there is 80 70 percent chance that you might pass the stage once you're faster than your enemies so again the speed set is just amazing but let's say you're in a put in a position when you don't need the speed set because i don't know your heroes are a5 with the exclusive weapon uh, the talents with that you can increase by either farming pvp arena or the tower of mark gave you enough of speed to be faster anyway you don't need the speed set well it's very easy either you go into hp percentage so for example anyone who puts a shield like whim Liz, etc hp percentage is obviously the best healing effect well you're only gonna use those on uh healers so for example whim he doesn't heal so you don't need healing effect percentage increase that's completely useless and then you also have defense percentage there are some heroes that will increase your defense uh, 
or do shields based on the defense percentage, I believe. So again, it's up to what support you have. If he heals, healing effect. If he shields, HP percentage. Very specific for Liz because she does both. If she's not A3 exclusive, if she's not exclusive 3, I would recommend healing effect. But if she is exclusive 3, maybe HP percentage is better because then her shield is just amazing. So again, yeah, but definitely speed into either HP, healing, death percentage. But always the very first step is to make sure that you're fast enough. So the speed gear is the best. Then we're gonna go into the daughters. Also, let me check if I can have the sets here, for example. So let me go into the daughters. Can I have the sets here or not? Builder. No. Can I? No. No? I don't have like uh a... Ah, you have. Great, I have. Okay, great, great, great. So this is... Uh... Yeah, more or less everything. So for the daughters, like for example, Ockman, Sigmund, Melia, Walter, basically anyone who puts HP burn, burn, bleed, poison, etc. You're going to want to, well, first of all, speed, because again, if they are too slow, they're just going to die. So it's completely useless. So first step is speed. Once you have enough of speed, you go into effect hit, because if you don't apply your dots, they are useless. So before going into mastery, you want to go from speed to effect hit and then only to mastery once you are okay with your effect hit. For example, right now, as you can see, my effect hit on Ockman is only 30%. Personally, I think it's garbage. Uh, so obviously, again, I have an effect hit gear on him and I also have HP mastery gear on him, which I think is completely... It's, I don't think it's good, but I just ha don't have anything better. But ideally, I want to have minimum 60-70% uh, percent, uh, effect hit. Because once you go on a dwarf and dungeon bosses, I don't know, 25, 26, 27, etc, etc, you <laughs> need to be sure that you're gonna land those dots. So it's very important. Yes, a master will help you to make more damage, but as a daughter, you won't make any damage if you don't apply the burn, poison, bleed, etc. So we start with speed, we go into effect hit. Once we are comfortable with the effect hit, then we go with the mastery. And then you're gonna ask me, okay, but how do you get comfortable? Again, with the talents, with the sanctuary, with the substats of the current gear, with your artifacts, etc. etc. I think I believe this one you can actually have effect hit. Again, I don't have artifacts, my artifacts are shit. But as you can see, you, you can have a 6-star artifact with effect hit. Here you can have speed, you can have what? You can have HP, defense, attack, speed. And I think that's it, right? Yeah, so it's only flat stats. In the middle one, you can have healing effect, effect resistance still attack hp hp attack healing effect attack and then in the first one i think it's crit rate attack percentage crit damage and hp defense flat mastery yeah there is crit rate crit damage and attack flat hp death flat yeah. and that's it so yeah, anyway, uh, there are plenty of ways to basically get the statistics you want. So yeah, speed, effect hit, mastery, basic sets. And then the very last one is obviously pure damage. Again, ignore my gear. I just don't have anything better. That's basically what I have. But again, we start with speed. It, like right now in my team, again, if you saw my Dwarf and Dungeon video, you know that right now only Lester, only Lester is the only hero that is faster than the mobs but i need everyone else to be faster because well they are basically dying right now so you're gonna start with speed then for them you have to go into crit rate because obviously if you don't crit your crit damage attack percentage is comp uh, 
your crit damage increase. For example, me, I only have crit damage on Lester because of his passive. But let's say I would play, for example, Ariel. I would go 100% into crit, crit rate uh, set. Like crit damage set on her is completely useless if I don't crit. So you start with speed, then crit rate, and then crit damage. Now, crit damage, you need to understand that Yes, the bet the more crit damage you have, the harder you're gonna hit. But if your attack is very, very behind, it's pointless. Let's say you're gonna have 300% crit damage and you're only gonna have, I don't know, 8,000 attack. If you go lower to, for example, 250 crit damage, but you go to, I don't know, uh, 12,000 attack, the, the ratio will be way higher and you'll make more damage, way more damage. But again, this is very complicated and we're gonna go deeper into that way later. For now, you don't need to care about it. But speaking about gear, technically just about gear, you start with speed set, you go into crit rate, and then you go into crit damage. If you don't have at least, for now, 60-70% crit rate, I wouldn't even consider crit damage. Obviously, we all want 100%, but let's say if you want to go crazy and without having crit rate set, you're already at 70% somehow, go ahead, put crit damage. But yeah, below 50% is just pointless. If you don't crit, this crit damage uh, increase is completely useless and wasted. Now, obviously, it's still the very beginning. For some of us, we're going to start now, today, tomorrow, I don't know. Uh, obviously, as a, especially, not only, but especially as a free-to-play player, you're going to build one champion for some of you holder whatsoever to basically carry you through the campaign, etc. If you're a free-to-play, obviously your supports, it will take a lot of time before there are awakened one. And there will, it will take a lot of time before they stop start stop dying on the first wave. Because most of the cases, your carry hero will basically be the only one surviving the first attack of the monsters. So I would really consider putting at least one lead set for heroes that don't have uh, their own regeneration. And what do I mean by that? For example, you have heroes like Ockman that will regenerate HP every time there's a HP burn burn. You also have, for example, Lee's that has the similar effect that restores HP for every one debuff inflicted to an enemy. So if your hero has zero uh, health regeneration passive system, I don't know how you call it, you will most probably need a leech set on that hero. That's also why the game gives you in the first days a full set of vampire leech set. So after your day, day number two, you're going to have one set of leech. Personally, I think it's enough. Again, it's up to you to see how your hero survives or not. If you start day one and you're like, okay, but day one we don't have it, well, you can get the weapon regardless of day one. And maybe you can refresh like, I don't know, three or four times the shop to try to get a leech set. Let me see if I am lucky enough for the video. Just, oh, 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 oh hello. Hello. <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Let's see, leech, leech set. No leech set. Oh, there you go. Oh, it's a weapon. <laughs> Never mind. But yeah, you might get lucky on the first day and basically buy a uh, second pieces of leech. But most probably before you even get to a point you need the leech from the second day, it, you're gonna you're gonna stop playing anyway and then reload and have it. But yeah, this is a very basic, basically guide, beginner gear guide for you guys to have a better understanding. Obviously, I will make a totally different video for mid end game when we're gonna go into the depths of the forge. Because again, for now, you will not have this gear. To have the best gear in the game, basically, you have to uh, be either in the top 5% to basically be able to uh, forge 6-star gear, or you have to be in the top 150, I believe, I think. Right? 150? Yeah, 150. If you're below 150 or if you are in the 10%, you can only forge 4 and 5 star gear. So again, that's why I'm not focusing on forge because for most of the players, it will take you weeks, even months before you're able to craft a 6 star or a, 
just craft anything decent from the forge. So there is no point on me focusing on the forge right now. Because I just know a lot of people won't have it. And there is no way of me making a special video for like 20, 30 people who actually bought the sets from the, uh, from the paid shop. No, screw you. <laughs> if you pay, if you bought it, it's up to you to know if it's good or not now. But anyway, guys, uh, I hope the video helps you out. Uh, as always, my Discord, official Discord, links are in the description. All the links are in the description. And make sure to like, follow and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video, guys. Ciao. Yeah. <laughs>